still, so I he is scaring me with those Munas, but it is not really changing my build. I'm still pretty much going to be sticking with the Marines, the Marauders, and the Siege Tanks. Um, really, I always feel like my Marines are the counter to Mutalisks in low numbers, and I don't think those higher numbers are coming out soon. Flyer Attacks level 2 is on the way, though. Um, I am... I did finish an expansion, but uh, my mind is elsewhere now as I'm trying to take on these mutas. I was able to take out quite a few of them. Is that enough to give me the lead? Yes, it is, and the unit's loss count. Here, I check that expansion again, and now I'm starting to get a little nervous because I assume that with that excellent map control that he's taken a large lead in the income. Here, uh... Banelings able to finally take out the Marines after quite a while, but these Marauders were able to sneak through, take out the Spine Crawler, and start taking out all the tech buildings in his main base. Where are those Mutas? Here they are. Four of them left, but they are staying away from the fight. This is as are the Zerglings and the Baneling. I don't know exactly what was going on here. Did his APM die off? Not really. He was just... I don't know if he forgot about his units or what, but as a result, I am able to take out his main base along with that spire, the spawning pool, and the baneling nest. Oh my goodness, this is just disastrous for him. Am I going to be able to take out the lair? It looks like it. Nothing is headed my way. Uh, he does at the. <laughs> and down it goes. And here I, I go, okay, well, he's got that other base over there. Starting to send reinforcements in. Mute is finally on the way to help take out these Marauders, because, of course, Marauders can't attack air. I would love if they could, but then that would be even more overpowered than they already are. Gonna take out the Queen easily. She doesn't even get a kill off. Uh, these guys are doing great. 11 kills and 5 kills. They are getting promotions like crazy. And then in come the mutas, taking out the, the marines. They were able to focus firing them down. And suddenly I am back in this game with the harvester count almost even. But unfortunately I am almost completely mined out of my main. Still not transferring drones because I was working so hard on... I don't know, staring at the battle. And what is going on here? I did take out this expansion here, but it does look like these drones are long distance mining like champs. They're actually mining from these mineral patches here, all these here, and taking them all the way through that base, his original base, down all the way across the map to this hatchery. He did get his spawning pool back up, so he is able to reproduce those zerglings, but unfortunately that is it for him. So he is stuck with what mutas he has and what banelings he has. He has only just the one baneling left that I'm pretty sure he forgot about, along with 10 mutas that are skirting across the field, and I did not lie, these drones are going back for more minerals. Uh, a few... Uh, hatcheries on the way for him. He's got three producing at the same time, and unfortunately he doesn't have enough minerals to do anything else. That's all he's got. I do finally get uh, that uh, expansion tr starting to run. I actually am completely mined out, and I had these guys just hanging out for about uh, 30 seconds. Mita's finally coming in to do some harassing. It is long past time. Sending in Vikings and my Marines, and those Vikings were enough to scare him off. Um, he was able to stop the refinery from being built, though. Thor is on the way. I was able to build an armory. I think that's a great spot to build it, of course, if he didn't already spot that with those mutalisks. Oh my goodness, so many hatcheries on the field. He's got... Oh, he's building another one somewhere on the map. Oh no, it's being morphed into a lair, so we are going to be seeing lair tech again, um, but a 20 minute mark is not the ideal opportunity to be getting that lair back. Of course, you want that up pretty soon in the game. And there's a wasted stim. 
uh, don't stim marauders, or don't stim marines when, with uh, harassing mutas. Uh, wait until they stop, and then you can start to get those stims up and get that damage done. Units lost is pretty much even. Um, he has spent so much more on the economy. Um, I've spent more on technology and I have the larger army. I should still have it. It is not um, ideal though. I would love to have a larger army. Mostly anti-air is being built now. Vikings, Thors, and Marines. Uh, how many Marines do I have left? Uh, there we go. 15 with more being produced. Hatcheries all over the map. Uh, I'm still s pretty much stuck to one base. This, I'm just mining off of one base. Not even getting that much gas because I have so many right now. I do need the minerals. And there we go. I was going for uh, what I assume to be my last ditch push, I guess. No, I'm going to be ex securing a second expansion for me so I can actually get two mining bases going at the same time. More zerglings in the middle of the field. He loves that rally point. Overlord's chilling out on the side. He finally did get that lair. Spire on the way so he can get more mutalisks. It has been so long since he's been able to produce it, but he still has six of them left due to careful management of them. Oh, uh, four <laughs> four extractors. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second. Oh, but good lord, he's got 4,000 minerals, 1,700 gas. He's just got so much unspent, and he, it's not like he's he's lacking for larva. He's got 11 larva here. Oh, what is he doing? Six larva, just not able to keep track. His macro is suffering greatly, and here I assume maybe he went back to his main base, and he's continuing to do um, damage there. And I spot these guys here. I'm sh pretty sure he forgot about them, because otherwise they would be chilling at those Alnaga Tower. And I go in, start taking out these overlords, but of course he's not even close to being over on that. He did spend, he's, oh my gosh, there's so many Mews, 21 Mews being built, and that uh, Vespian gas went down the drain. He's got almost none of it left, but still so many minerals. Um, evolution chamber on the way, finally going to get the ground upgrades on those Zerglings, and possibly Banelings, but I don't see any Banelings anytime soon. And here I finally find one of his, um, well, another of his... Uh, mining bases after taking out his main. Zerglings were late. I will be able to take this down. No problem. Zerglings coming in and of course they cannot get a good surround because we are on the ramp and the drones cycling right through because they are in harvest mode. More Zerglings popping up. They should die quickly and here I send my units over take out some queen the queen that's why these vikings are on the ground but of course all these mews coming in these vikings don't stand a chance especially the ones on the ground oh my gosh there's so many mutalisks oh that is that is crazy zerglings on the way they of course are the counter to the thor if they can get a good surround the thor just attacks way too slow but luckily this guy is backed with lots of marines and marauders and he does live with 10 kills Muta's on the way to, to harass uh, the only base I'm still mining off of. I'm not mining off this one. Just bad macro for me as well in this game. All these Mutas, they don't... St oh my gosh. They don't even care about these missile turrets. Missile turrets didn't stand a chance. I don't believe the missile turrets do splash damage, but you know what does? Thors. So in come the Thors, along with Marauders, just to absorb damage, and they fall for it. They start focusing down the Marauders, along with the Marines, and these Thors get to do massive damage. Look, they haven't even gotten attacked yet, and this guy now up to seven kills, this guy up to four, barely any damage done on him. So if you've got a massive Mutalisk army, don't be afraid to send the Marauders in. I know they will die. I'm not saying they won't. But what I am saying is that they can absorb some damage, especially if you've got a medevac out on the field. More Zerglings, more Mutalisk coming out. This has just been a 
grind the entire game. I do have a massive lead in the unit's loss count. Mostly, most of that I assume is from buildings, uh, because I don't believe he has spent. Yeah, we spent about the same on the army. I'm taking out whatever I can, but of course he is not that. Uh, concerned about overlords. He's got 90 extra supply and he did get overlord speed and these guys are motoring. At least motoring for overlords. Uh, Zerglings running by. They don't see that I'm going for this base apparently and they run to defend this base over here. So I go in and I start harassing this base. There aren't very many workers on it but I want to take it out anyways. Zerglings running back. They just realized, oh crap, that's the enemy. Must take them out. Medevac getting way out of position there. Uh, starting to get harassed by the queen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the slowest moving thing I've ever seen. Um, Zerglings are being able to take, the, are being taken out. Uh, drones cycling back. Uh, Thor is on the way to kill this last mutalisk, though these marauders can live. And that looks like the game. Yes, that is it. He is forced to leave. I have now taken every hatchery from him except for two. This one was sure to die, and this one, of course, had no minerals left at it. So that is the game. So I hope you guys laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Bye.